Hey everybody, my name is Klintopski. Welcome to The Crooked Man. This is an RPG horror game. Not an RPG maker horror game, but uh, another one. I think it's RPG Wolf Editor or something. Not really sure. But it's a game that's been on my radar for a little while. Um, I like these kind of uh, old school Final Fantasy looking horror games. I think they're really neat and they can they can have a lot of atmosphere and pretty good stories. Uh, a lot of them are junk, but there are some gems, and I've heard this is a good one. So, let's check it out. Let's see how spooky it is. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. Uh, I guess I'm out. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. That's a little ominous. There was a crooked man. Okay. I'll let you guys read it. All right. Cool xylophone action going on. Paul. Ooh, finally. Things look tidy in here. Marion. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? Nah, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice! The three of us could go out drinking! I look forward to it already. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Aw. What is that big... Is that a crack in my wall? That door closing is very loud. Much too loud. Okay, this is us. What's our name, David? Let's check this out. There's a big crack. There's a large crack in the wall. And that's apparently all we have to say about it. Okay. What's, uh, cupboards? I was trying to look down. Uh, huh, sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Why, why did he take his license out? Got Paul's license. Who takes it out when, I don't know. Anyway, a phone, a box of tissue. Okay, very uh, nondescript place. Uh, uh, is it a bed or can I not even, okay. Let's go get Paul his license. You hear someone. Ooh, I don't think that's uh, that's human speech we're hearing, but okay. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right, I'm sorry. Jeez, my friends suck. I just wanted to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit him some other time. The talking gets distant. License can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Man, that's sad. No reason to go out. Jeez. Hello? Hello, who is this? Shirley? <laughs> Mildred? Rebecca? We just say in random names? Mm. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for now. My first day in the new place. Yeah, I'm pumped! I'm in, I'm so excited to live here. Look how cool. Look at my TV. It's old, but it's mine. I got I got some snacks. Um, these controls are a little wonky. A stove and a sink. Uh, yes. Let's go to bed. Give your boring mind a rest. Man, I'm tired. Are we gonna have spooky dreams? Is that me? Am I crying? 
Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Ooh. Is it one of my neighbors? Well, I hope so. Hope it's not someone in your room. I should go complain. Someone's sad. And that makes me angry. I need to go have a few words with this disembo- i turn my volume down. Disembodied crying voice. Is it you? 206 looks to be empty. Knocking gets no response. Okay, and this is me. Um, 203 looks to be empty. My control keeps getting weak. Okay, no one there. Nope. Who are you? You're. Okay. Nope. Woman's voice. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me. It's just I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Sound like a man crying. Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? Ooh, we got a feisty lady. You're the new guy moving to 205, right? There's just no way you'd hear me from there. That's actually true. Um, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. Yeah, you wouldn't hear her from there. She's right, the rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I better get to sleep. Yeah, you're crazy. And I just noticed you are fully clothed and you have shoes on. Do you sleep in here? Someone's taking a bath. Where's that? It's not the sink. There's no water. Is, are there rooms? Oh, there's rooms here. Uh, I don't understand. There's a washing machine. Yikes! The water is the faucet busted. I don't see it. Damn. Hmm. Under the bed. Okay. Uh. Definitely gonna be looking there. Under the bed, is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. David, you have no imagination. Don't want to go. You don't want to go or you don't need to go? Big difference. A shower. Okay, under the bed. I want to check. Why does he need to close the door when he enters and exits every room? I mean, it's your apartment, dude. Not many clothes inside, an old computer, an empty tray. Wow, okay. Under the bed. Anybody under there? Am I just going to go to bed? Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm, found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Huh. Okay. He's sad. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need to sleep. That's very weird. Hello? Shirley? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. What? Man, I slept in to noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Well, who was that? Like, you'll visit her soon? Like, is your mom in the hospital or, like, in a nursery? N nursing home? A nursery. <laughs> His mom is five years old. Um, I better go. Where am I going? Just going out? What? Is there anything on the... No? Okay. Oh! Hey, it's you. Paul, what is it? Not, no hello. 
What is it? Uh, yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but you're a douchebag. Whew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Very weird uh, friendship you all have. A landscape painting. I need to go in there. Okay. Excuse me? I know you're there. Is that anything else? Okay. Aww. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my. If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Mm. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. Wow, this guy's not hard to please. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So when you get better, we can live there together. I got a feeling it's not going to happen, man. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Oh, Mom. I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Oh, poor old lady. Mom. Man, this guy's life is kind of rough. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did, how did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Mom. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. And turn your frickin' radio down. My god. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Man. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. <laughs> Jeez. Got a set of lungs on her. Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. God. Who are you? You want to talk to me? Can I just not talk? I don't want to talk to you. Do I have to talk to you? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many times, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, thanks, Doc. Uh, you really filled me with hope. I should apologize later. I'm gonna apologize right now, dude. Can I examine this plant? No? It's That plant's too boring for me. Okay! <laughs> What was that? Again with the doors, dude. Sounds like something moved. Something moved? There's a large crack. Yeah, I gotcha. Sound like something moved. Did it not sound like something moved? Mm, the book? No? 
Let's try not many clothes. Oh, the chair? That was in a different spot. Did I move that chair? Hmm, there's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm, these LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Uh, I don't know. Man. Thank God for landlines. Hello? Hey, David, how are you doing? Ha ha, you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... No, I don't think it was Shirley. How do you know? You just... You're guessing? You're hopeful. You're a lonely guy. Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. All right. Well, I'll hang up now. All right, see you. Just a s simple goodbye. I will hang up the phone now, and we will cease our conversation. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Okay. Or you could just stand on your uh, sofa. Why did it turn off by itself? Is it broken? Whoa! Said sink! Gah! Said sink! What? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Okay... So someone's... The crooked man is leading me around. Is that... A wash basin? Is this sink? Am I... Am I mistaken? Uh, oh, Kit, maybe kitchen sink. We'll try that. There we go. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. Excellent. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a Mother Goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. You're not gonna solve all your problems by sleeping. Every time something comes up, you're like, Oh, better go to bed. What are you thinking, man? Alright. Let's see what happens now. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Okay, what's good? Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Uh, okay, I'm not a lot. I'm not controlling it. Of course, there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Well, you were asleep. I mean, you were you were tired and then you fell asleep. Okay. You have my attention. Uh, glass shattering. Got that freaking door. Uh, oh, okay. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Nah, I better go to bed. The coffee says... <laughs> you gotta be... I don't think the coffee says that. It's it's written in the coffee. This room is really, really strange with its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? What is this? Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Who am I calling? Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? 
Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha, yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Well, that was a fruitless conversation. Far end of the first floor. Okay. Far end. Oh, another crack. What's that mean? What's that mean? Why does my controller keep messing up? It's not letting me... Withered plants. Okay. Is this her? Oh, she looks nice. Hello! She's not British. I don't know why I did that. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants if you'd like. No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty, sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well. I'll get back to my room and go to bed because that's what I do. Does anybody else? Looks to be empty. Is it just myself and that woman here? Can I pop? Nope. Just, uh, just us, huh? Ooh, what is that? Someone got some mucky muck on the floor. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So, maybe the crooked man's traveling through the walls or something? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? I'm, I'm just going to let that one go. Just, I'm not going to say anything. Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. I better stand on my couch and think about this. The guy's voice, the kid's voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha! Huh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. God, dude. You're freaking depressing, man. I thought you were, like, excited to start your new life. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. <laughs> Man. What we got? Got a uh, radio. What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Well, this is an apartment, not a house. Uh, it's not... Aha! It came from in here. Radio? What's... <laughs> radio? What's going on with that radio? Survival horror references. Uh, why is this in my closet? He didn't open the door. Uh, not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. What's that supposed to be? Well, that sounds like a pretty blatant reference to Silent Hill. Got a paper with an address. Let's go, man. Let's go there on an adventure right now. Well, maybe. Whoa. OK. 
Okay. I'm waiting for you. What? Why did? How? And when did it? That's pretty darn creepy. Wow, okay. That was neat. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay, Paul. So, you slept well last night. Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Oh, I stayed over. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha, wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlywed's love nest. Hey, why you? Ah, you. You big joker, you. Ha ha, just kidding. Seriously, though. You can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. Huh, I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? No, I complimented you. Uh, oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up that moping, and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Yeah. This is comforting. Thanks, Paul. Ha, huh, well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet, send a postcard. No, I, I'll call you. I don't. The postcards, they don't do that anymore. Breakfast's ready, Paul. Breakfast's ready, Paul. Man. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, that's too bad. Come by anytime you like. Or just go home and be depressed. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains, about a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Yeah, dude. Let's do it. Let's hit the road. Let's not pack anything. And let's just go. Prologue. David's room. End. Okay. End of the first part. Okay. Cool. So I think I'll end the video there. So far, I like it. I think it's pretty creepy. Um, it's one of those games where there's not a lot of music. There's not a lot happening, but it really feels like it's building up to something. And uh, yeah, apart from some awkward dialogue. I mean, you'll have that, though, with these kind of games. But yeah, I'm digging it. I'm excited. Uh, I think it said that there were four chapters five chapters something like that so uh probably be a four or five part video but anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh if you like this hit the like button hit subscribe too love to have you guys along for the ride and i will see all of you next time